Hello and welcome to another video by YCAC Lab. In this as well as in the couple of next videos, we'll see how to install and exploit the Budget Store web application. Budget Store is a vulnerable by design web application designed for those who are beginning in pen testing field. It is built on Java and it requires a servlet engine such as Apache Tomcat. And we have a couple of installation options there. First is we can either install it on the virtual machine and install the entire technology stack on that. The second and the easier option is to install it on Docker. And we will be using this method to install Budget Store in our lab. If you want to check out the official page of Budget Store, please visit the GitHub link mentioned below. As I said that the Budget Store is a vulnerable by design web application. So there are many vulnerabilities through which it can be exploited and some of them are cross-site scripting, SQL injection, hidden content, indirect object reference and you can also find debug code. It also has weak encryption and cross-site request forgery vulnerabilities. In total there are around 15 challenges to completely exploit the budget store application. Now let's see the installation of budget store. So off to the lab we go. For this lab, I am using Kali Linux version 2019.4. Before we proceed to install Budget Store, we will need to install Docker. The commands to install Docker on Kali Linux are these. So here what we are doing is we are first adding the GPG for Docker repository. And then we are adding Docker repository to the resources list of Kali Linux. Then we are updating app using apt-get update. And then finally, we'll install Docker using apt-get install docker ce. So let's run these commands. All right, so Docker has installed now. So let's test Docker. And the command for that is docker run hello-world. So it says that it is unable to find the image locally. So it will have to pull the image from Docker repository. And if you see this message, that means that our Docker installation is working correctly. Now, after you restart, if you need to start Docker again, you can use this command or if you want Docker to start on every boot up, you can just simply enable auto startup for Docker using this command. So let's use this command, copy and I'll paste it here. So now Docker is set to auto start on every reboot. Before proceeding, let me clear my screen. To install budget store as a docker image, there is a very simple command. All you have to write is docker pull and then psii non and budget. So it will pull the latest image available in the docker hub. And once the download is complete, that image is locally available on your system. So you won't have to pull the image every time you want to run budget store. All right, the image has completed downloading. Now let's just create a tag so that it is easy to start this image. And to do that, we will issue the command docker tag and again the name of the image and then the tag that we want to use. And in our case, it's budget latest. Great. Now to run budget store, there's a very simple command which is docker run and then hyphen p to map the port from your local machine to the docker image. So in this case, the first port is on your local machine and it will map to port 8080 on the budget store container image. And then the tag of the image that we want to run and in our case it's budget latest. So as you can see that the server has started. To verify it, we go to our browser. And here we will navigate to localhost and the port number that we mapped. In our case, it's 8080. 
so as you can see that the docker image is running perfectly now to access the budget store installation all you have to write is budget in front of it and you will be able to access the budget store this is the home page of budget store and if you want to learn about the challenges that are available you go to about us and then go to the scoring page and here is the list of all challenges that are available in this vulnerable web application to be completed in the next couple of videos i'll give you a walkthrough on how to solve these challenges meanwhile also explaining the process of penetration testing a web application so that was all i had for this video thank you for watching it and if you want to stay updated on our latest videos please subscribe to our channel yaksha cac you can follow us on twitter as well our twitter handle is at the rate yakshas443 and you can check out our websites which are yakshas.io and yakshas.in